Well, welcome to day nine of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. In these 21 days, uh, as individuals, but then also corporately as a church family, we are learning to hunger and thirst for more of God in our lives. We're fasting uh, from food and other things that take our attention, and instead we're laying that down and we're asking God to revive us and refresh us and renew us to give us vision and just something new in this year. And so our focus today is that in our thirst and our hunger for God, He will give us guidance that can only come from Him. In John 16, 13, it says, But when He, the Spirit of truth, comes, He will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on His own. He will speak only what He hears, and He will tell you what is yet to come. So what you need to understand about this passage is that Jesus was speaking to his followers, his disciples about the Holy Spirit. And he said that it was better that he would go to heaven. Jesus actually said, hey, it's actually much better that I leave you because then the Holy Spirit will come and actually dwell in each and every one of us. You see, the Holy Spirit is our helper. The Holy Spirit is our comforter, our advocate, our intercessor, and our counselor. And the scripture says that the Holy Spirit only speaks what the Father speaks because they're one. And so the Holy Spirit will give us guidance that's actually filled with truth in our life. That's why the scripture says he will guide you into all truth. How incredible is that? So let's start by praying that through. Just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I welcome you into my life. Would you refresh me with your truth today? Would you give me fresh revelation? Would you guide me in the right direction today? I pray in Jesus' name, amen. You know, I think that some Christians have kind of given the Holy Spirit a bad name. Uh, Some people have made the Holy Spirit kind of spooky or weird. And because of that, sometimes we can be kind of put off. Maybe we grew up like hearing weird things about the Holy Spirit, or maybe we actually experienced some weird things, or maybe we just don't know about the Holy Spirit. And so we're like, I'm good with Jesus, and I'm good with God, but that Holy Spirit stuff, mm mm-mm. Listen, I want to encourage you today that we serve a triune God. We serve Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit isn't weird. No, sometimes people are. (laughs) People can be weird and try and make him weird, but he's not spooky. He's, He's the Holy Spirit. And I just believe that this is actually one of the enemy's tactics to keep us as Christ followers from all that God has for us. You see, the Holy Spirit is a gift. The Holy Spirit dwells inside of us and actually guides us into truth. So here's my challenge for us today. Where do you need to invite the Holy Spirit to move in your life? I want to challenge us to humble ourselves and to pray, Holy Spirit, come, be my counselor. And maybe you'll even recognize that you need to forgive someone who made the Holy Spirit weird or just recognize that that was people or a church or a different way, but that's not who the Holy Spirit is. So I want you just to agree with me in prayer. Open yourself up right now to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in our lives. I need you to be my counselor. I need you to guide me. Father, I forgive anyone who's maybe made the Holy Spirit weird or maybe even just my own thinking that has just put that part of you aside. I want all of you. I want you as Father. I want you as Son, Jesus. And I want the Holy Spirit to be in my life. Baptize me right now in the Holy Spirit. 
Jesus' name, amen. So now, just with the power of the Holy Spirit, I want you to take a moment and pray out loud about anything else that might be on your mind. And we also just today corporately want to pray for our community. You know, we're still recovering from the hurricane. There are so many uh, who still are dealing with loss and recovery. Will you pray for them? Will you pray for people who are serving our community, like in our healthcare or police officers or firefighters, our EMTs? Will you just lift them up as they provide for our city? And also we've got Young Adults United Night tonight. Will you pray for our young adults? Come on, let's go ahead and with the power of the Holy Spirit who guides us into truth. Let's pray. so good. Hey, let's keep fasting. Let's keep praying. And all day long, let's keep asking the Holy Spirit to guide us because he is a good gift. Love you, church family.